Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Assassin's Creed Revelations playthrough. Today, we will just uh, do more of the usual. Side thingies, main thingies, maybe another platforming segment inside Desmond's mind. But what I think we'll do before we go do the mission is we'll come over here, do the waypoint if possible, gather up some of these things. I did a bit of a buying spree off screen, just went about like, ah, grab the things. Because doing it a little on stream is fine, but I think doing it all when it takes a good few minutes to just, of pure just buying... Uh, I think it's just better to, like, do it a little off-stream, but not too much. But yeah, we'll go do Waypoint. We'll go ahead and do some of these Master Assassin missions. Well, I guess those two Master Assassin missions. And then we will come down and do the main mission. Not the bookstore. That was highlighted. I don't know why there's so many bread carrying people, or maybe it's pottery, because I think I knocked down one of those guys, and they dropped it, and it was a big smash. Well, so while we're here, we guess we could, like, buy this faction building, send out more thieves into the world, because I don't really use the mercenaries, and the mercenaries can just be replaced with my assassin minions, and I don't even have to pay them. What? Is now aware. Uh, so by buying a thief, <laughs> by buying a house for thieves, the Templars became aware of me, I guess. Sure thing. I killed these guys. Now give me your property. I tried to come up with a rhyme that was like hippity hoppity. This is now my property, but with, like, Templars or Assassins, and I was just not clever fast enough. Also, the, uh... The little thing that's like, uh, oh, the Templar awareness. That came from buying a shop, I guess. Or, or faction building. And I think it just looks kind of bad up in the corner. Turning the entire thing red just doesn't look good. It looks like a glitch. In fact, b nearing the end of my last stream, I thought it was a glitch. But no. It's just a, the assassin, the, the Templars know. And I guess buying property in Constantinople alerts the Templar of my dealings. I'm confused. No money here. So... Ah, 25% of Constantinople rebuilt. Huzzah! And another reason why I kind of... Oh, this is a... Uh, I might not be able to do, 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 do... Might as well try, though. A man who's climbing. Nobody has the upper body strength. Oh. Political man. Well, maybe political man. I assume political man. All the other ones have been political mans. Kill him. <laughs> the fact that my... Why do they not care when my assassins do the killing? My assassin kills. He, he did it right in front of the guard. And the guard was just like, I don't care. So maybe this is a... Like a, a late area for the story. And it's just like, ah. Well, well apparently everywhere except right over here. Well, 
Apparently a ghost is making this music. It wasn't the man, it was the instrument. It's like what everyone says about digital art and, well, I guess AI art nowadays. The computer really does make all the music. But I'm gonna try and do the... Is it a double restricted area? That's what it feels like. So, is this a double restricted area? I just want to get to the, uh... The Climby Climb Revelations... Uh... Springboard. Well, I guess, yeah, it's a palace, so... It, I guess it makes sense for it to be, like, super restricted, but... Kind of hilarious for it to be so restricted. We must climb ever more, but not on that pillar. Climb ever more. He's just right there, taunting me. Going, bet you want to murder me, don't you, Ezio boy? Come down from that, ro that synchronization tower and kill me. Unfortunately for you, I am intelligent. Also, there were, like, no guards on the way here, so. Super duper restricted area, man. But, uh, only so much. Alright, now we will swing by the tailor, do the assassin master mission. R go up there by the bookshop if we can afford it, and then other assassin mission. And I'm not even going to bother, like, uh, doing it the right way, because then that puts us in the... Well, I mean, that would allow us to kill the... Kill the man. Or send an assassin to kill a man. I'm sure that he'll just, like, come back around, I'll send an assassin to kill him. I wish that I could, like, super duper lock on to people. I do under... I... I... That's not to say that I'm taking the ability to, like, super specifically reticle target a, t like, assassination target that I want to kill. That is a very nice addition to the game. Thank you for adding it. It's just now my brain is like, oh, but it could be even better. It could be even grander in design. Come on. Come to me. Kill. That's not who I wanted. Oh, never mind. The other one did it. They were like looking at me. And then I decided my people shall summon forth from oblivion and kill you. You'd think that having your minions kill somebody from within the royal palace would be like a really big thing and would increase your notoriety but i guess it's specifically for the templars that's like the specificity here it's the templar awareness not really like, guard notice, but I guess it kind of ties together, but still. Oh, there's another bookstore right here. And a random chest that I can get. Give me your materials! Your impact shells and your gods. Oh no, I already have that. It's just that it was below. Personally, I don't think I need to know the elevation of shops. The minimap should be for, oh hey, this is available for purchase, or oh hey, this is already owned. Not, oh, you're on the wrong elevation to go there. Like, if I want to find it, I will look for it in the real world of the game, not... I need to go into the bazaar. Oh, hey, window. Nice. 
But yeah, just a small nitpick for immediate, like, recognition of ownership or not. I would personally prefer if the game... For a moment, I thought that the... Uh, the, sh the little, like, uh, clothing there on the stand, I thought that his feet were like a mini mannequin. Like a torso with only feet and no legs. And I thought that was freaky as hell, but no, I, it was just perspective. Now off we go. I bump into a person and they just begin saying the meanest things. But now we shall go and send out our assassin Masson out on a mission. So apparently our last, like, guy that we sent out on an assassin mission has just been occupied occupied for five billion years. But we need to uh, give someone the upgrade. I'll give it to you. You become master of this place. The Vizier, part one. Win the race against your apprentice. Sure. Mentor. I am told you still have the speed and strength of a 20-year-old. I try to keep healthy. Then how about the race? I could use a bit of exercise. You begin, and I will follow. <laughs> Very rude. Quit trying to knock me about. I like how this is like a foot race so far. And now it is no longer a foot race. And that was it. Oh. That Templar is up to something. We should track him. Don't mind. You see nothing. Oh, optional objective. I didn't even need to win. The real objective was this guy. How nice. You'd think that a strangely dressed person like, uh, observe the man. At least you don't have to chase him anymore. Do I need to stand in a specific place? Maybe. Well, I'll be. I think I do. Why not from rooftop? I That's not let him escape. I can Stop him. And we shall. Oh, yeah. He was holding this, Mentor. It must belong to the Vizier he robbed. You take care of this body. I will return this document. That's kind of mean of the game to go... Like, how dare you kill this guy that we ordered you to kill for this mission. Templar Awareness 5000. And apparently my apprentice is super damaged. Leave that poor soul in peace, heretic. But I left him in pieces. Isn't that isn't that better? Does this amuse you? I believe this belongs to you. Ah, uh, you have spared me much humiliation before the sublime port. Thank you. Sublime Ethan. port. And is that the young assassin who aided you today? Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> He's just like, fine, fine. I understand. 
kind of funny. Just like kind of side quest. But now I have to go bribe so many people. To get rid of... The g Again, kind of mean of the game to go, How dare you kill this guy that we ordered you to kill. Very mean. And now we'll come over here. And again, I, I my one guy is still on a mission. My first assassin master, who I upgraded, is still out on that mission that we sent him on in like the first hour of the game. I don't know where he is gone. Maybe he is dead, even though it said 100%, I think. Completion rate. The shop person beginning to yell made me think that the guards walked up to me while I was in the cutscene and were like, you, die. <laughs> but no, apparently... And seriously, it is so hard to read the diddly D Templar awareness thing now. When it is bright red and flashing, I have no idea what anything is. Although, zipline is fun at the very least. There is no excuse, I have hook, there is zipline. Plenty of excuse. Why is the door humming with magic? The door hums with power and frenzy. Bursa, Fall of the Money, Part 1, successfully completed. She has been upgraded. Mediterranean Defense. Ah, just like more things here, new contracts. with a bunch of lower. Let me go to my assassins. This guy is still out on the lamb. Is away on the little prince. For an unknown amount of time. Can I cancel that? For the little prince. The memory seals. So yeah, is it just glitched? Is he glitched forever? Assassinate a supplier. But apparently only a specific type of assassin will do. Interesting. Oh, I guess we can send him and then others can help him in the mission to increase his chances. The Little Prince, unknown. Can I cancel this? <laughs> I think I might, uh... Maybe look this up? This seems weird. <laughs> It'll be nice to know if my guy is just gone forever. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly look it up. Unknown amount of time. Specifically on the Little Prince contract. So maybe it is meant to be. He'll come back at a later part of the game. Alright. It's just very odd for it to be there. Like this. Just seems odd. All right. We shall assign a person as Master Assassin Masson of this den. And then, well, let's go ahead and do a mission with Mentor, you. I have heard some troubling rumors. Tell me. 
We have reason to believe a rogue Orthodox deacon is planning to... Hello, Astro. We are doing some assassin missions. Not yet. Apparently, we're going to look for a deacon. We need a name first. It would not serve our cause to eliminate every holy man between Bursa and Belgrado. Vieni, and we will ask around to see what we can learn. Because so far, I've really enjoyed these mini missions. Locate the church official on your first try. Hmm. Discover who's behind the plot to murder the Orthodox Patriarch of Constantinople. Then let us go. What is our plan, Mentor? The Orthodox millet in the city is too small to hide big secrets. We will ask the clergy some questions, and, if necessary, make them answer. Are we going to threaten some holy people? I thought that was uh, precisely not what we were trying to do. Use your eagle sense. Is it going to be up here? I'm going to assume it's this guy. <laughs> Hello, my dude. I would not like to shoot him. I would like to speak to you. There are rumors that the Patriarch is in danger from a rogue deacon. Does that stir any ideas? Ah, yes. We have heard those rumors, too. And your name behind them is always the end of rumors. The Patriarch cast him out some years ago for gross misdeeds. So that gives him he motive. Anathema. If you see him in the city, you can be sure he intends to do harm. Ah, so murder time. What did you learn? Our target is Cyril of Rhodes, a banished deacon. Oh, uh, apparently those guys, uh, are just standing there, menacingly. Don't know why those guards were standing there menacingly. Or well, luckily, there are a number of holy men here. I know what to do, mentor. And if I see an opportunity to eliminate him, I will take it. Just be careful. We don't want to kill the wrong guy. Is it you? No, it is not. Is it you? It is not. I have it's him. Stop! That is not our target! Why did you do that, my dude? <laughs> Brash fool. You killed an innocent man. He's like Altair 2.0. No Forgive me. Even if I do. Many others will not. Nor should they. Take up his body and bring him to the shore. This is your burden to bear. I will hunt down Rhodesman, unless this is a multi-part mission. I must drag my man. Oh boy. So we have- we killed one innocent man, so we have to kill even more innocent people. Well, maybe these are Byzantine Templars. Yeah, they're pro they're Byzantine Templars, not the local guard. But still. Hilarious. Kind of funny that, like, we're gonna guard the shore. We will not allow you to, to put a holy man into the water. Go meet this poor man to the sea. And meditate on your mistake. Have it, mentor. May the shame I feel never fade. <laughs> Just carelessly jumps the body into the water. That amuses me greatly. Not a gentle lay down into the ocean. Just a careless throw. I get that they use the same animations as I do, but still, the visual is hilarious. 
utterly magical. We will go ahead and bribe this speaker. Bribe the man. <laughs> he bribed him! Yay! Well, let's see. Everything seems good. I guess I could drop by an assassin den to send people out. Hello, Sajid. We are playing some Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now I just need to decide what to do next. Yep, we'll probably well, head by a herald to bribe, then Assassin's Den, and then we will go and probably continue the main story. So let us see. We'll just have to decide what kind of missions we'll want to send our assassins out on. Because I don't think they're in, like... Well, maybe they can level up now. I don't know how assassin den leaders work. Oh, wait, I forgot. This is an assassin den. This is a bribery time. Already forgetting my plan. Here is some money. Speak the word of assassin. And now we head to Assassin Den. My brain just jumped ahead a few steps. Let's see. What missions do I care to send people out on? Hmm, there is Master Assassin, so I guess it's just like, ah, this is the Assassin of this thing. Hmm, he will prevent it once he levels up enough. He will prevent attacks. Let's see. 38 experience. For assassinating a herald. 10 experience. Hmm. Well, let's take a look. Ah, yes. Thousands upon thousands of experience. But 38. 38 experience. I get it's a very low level one, but it's just hilarious to look at. And go, hmm. Yeah, because we can send one, but then that would take all three. Trying to find a decent mission to send someone out on. Again, the hilarious unknown. He will be gone. Oh, I guess we need a specific type. We need a hammer man for that. That's a biggie one. Reclaim the city. We can't do that. Again, a multiple assassin. Don't want to send all of them out. And once again, need a hammer one for that. Let's see what happens when we send out a Master Assassin, if they actually get experience or not. As a little test. Hmm. Would have liked to actually have double-checked his experience before and after, but it will. And now we shall head down to Zemen Mishan. What I presume to be a main mission. At first we shall drop by. Well, actually he seems... Yeah, let's see. To the public speaker man. The verbal newspaper of the day. Too many have died. All right. Not enough have died. <laughs> ah, sliver of awareness. Again, the little laugh. <laughs> Super expensive. Just a side dude I would check it out on the offhand chance. It's like, oh, I can work towards that easier. Nope, it's like all the others. Like actual real estate. And that's just the, the Thief HQ. Oh. 
It is a politician, assassin, Templar man. Kill him. He killed this man. But he is my man. That's what everyone says. Right, but do they really mean it? Not really. I have to get out of here. But I am the assassin master. I am the embodiment of respect. Silly fools. <laughs> the cut-off screams of the civilians as I knock them over still amuse me greatly. It's on my map for some reason. Let's check out this chest. It's a double chest. I want to jump off. Please, game. And pyrite coins and money. Let us head. <laughs> I am going to kill, he says, as I leap from the roof. Let's see. This door leads to story time. I just Buongiorno. walk in to the various Brava. buildings Please of books. In. Has a nice oh, vibe to it. The clatter. I have not had time to tidy up since my trip. You sailed from Rhodes, no? See. Si. I just. How did you know? My assassin just we tried to kill somebody ship. from there. I am Ezio Auditore. Sofia Sartor. Have we met? Now we on the same not. boat. May I have a look around? <laughs> we have not. <now. laughs> Most of my best tomes are in the back. And no bonuses. That works for me. The Polo's former trading post may contain hints as to the location of the Masiaf Keys. Investigate the area to reveal any secrets. It is nice to meet another Italian in this district. Most keep to the Venetian Quarter and Galata. Altre tanto. I assume the Ottoman war with Venezia would have driven most of you away. I lived here with my parents when I was Poor a girl. Venice. The war pushed us out. But I always knew I would return. <laughs> there is nothing there at the table. It has large, lots of books, but nothing else. Have you found anything interesting? Yes, a mystical door. Mio Dio. Who put that there? The previous tenants, Marco Polo. <laughs> Where does it lead? Why don't we find out? Who are you, Messere? It's your Dottore. the most interesting man in your life. Oh. <laughs> he, he kind of has Please that beat. A presto, Sofia. I will return in a moment. I seek what might be hidden here. The mysteries of the Polo. Combo kill. Once again, probably the best addition Brotherhood gave to the series so far. Well, good thing Sophia didn't follow. That would have been bad. Do you know how long we've been searching this filthy system? I've been here a few weeks. Thirteen months! Ever since the Grand Master found that damn key. And so this is where the first key was? All he knows is that somewhere in the city... This is a big city. Toxel. That's what I said. Back to your post, Aietes. It's a cistern. Well, I guess me being here kind of proves why you need guards. Do not be detected. Oh boy. The secret door in Sophia's shop has brought Ezio to an underground cistern filled with Templars. I will try to be careful. 
probably should have looted some dead guards to get some throwing knives. Hmm. I love that. There doesn't seem to be any guards about, so we will trust the game. Ah, for a moment I thought it was just the reflecting light. But no, it is actually chests. British gunpowder. Phosphorus. And impact shells. Even though I have no idea what to make in terms of lovely, lovely bombs. Just don't know what the meta is. Motor bombs. Oh, a bomb crafting station. <laughs> They're like, or is it? Having to unlock it confused me for a moment. Diversion pouch. There's tactical pouch, but nah, I'll just stock up and go. Need to be careful. Hope they don't expect me to use my Look bombs alive, all the time. Eh? Pay you to watch the doors, not your feet. And I have no things, but at least I do have poison darts. So he can at least die. Because I can't be seen. While I don't want to care too much about the side objectives, I do like the addition of, oh, you can see their route. Uh, well, there's a Templar up there. So I need to be careful. There are Templars everywhere! Now, the Templars sitting down, so I can kind of ignore them. Maybe. I put a lot of guards over here. Hopefully they won't care about me looting their friend. Got two throwing knives. Hmm. Just trying to find the best way to move about. Because I need to get the key from him. Oh, he's coming this way. He's coming quickly. I hope he comes over here to expect the death body. That would make my job super easy. Nope, he's going back on his way. Hmm. All right, lamp. Do not throw me to oblivion. Thank you. There's just so many guards. And knife. Okay, stalagmite. Stalactite. Come with me. He'll be coming around here soon, and I'll be able to get the drop on him, hopefully. Because his path went there. So hopefully, his path will come back. I can then throw a knife at him. And then, luckily, he doesn't seem to have a guard of his own. Sure, it's a bit of a wait and see, but... And the game is like, hey, don't be detected. And even as I don't want to... 
like worry wart over the Why did oh yeah, because I ran out. No, wait, actually I didn't. Cistern key acquired, you know, by telepathy. I don't remember changing my sub weapon to the gun. But I could just be insane. So I won't hold that against the game, because I could just be crazy. Could do a long jump. Because a long jump is cool. The guards don't seem to be uber godly aware of things, thank god. Oi! That's very rude! How dare they notice me there! It just does not seem like they should be able to see me there. This game is rude. How dare you? Also, how dare you? Hey, come on. Die like a good Byzantine Emperor man. Ever so slight annoyance. Because that would have been a nice, cool thing. Jump there. But no, they have to be super duper intelligent. How dare. Why even have a long jump to that section if they don't even want me to be there, technically? You can come here, and then do nothing! Then again, if they could see me there, they should have been able to hear me opening this gate, so... Yeah, I can just go into the water. Oh, this isn't even water. I thought it was swim water. It's saying swim water. Well, I guess I could have also used, like, distractible bombs. But who wants to actually use bombs in the game that introduced the bombs? They're not very stealthy. I suppose I should use my distractibles a little bit more. Petros, make sure we have enough torches for the excavation. I'm tired of stumbling around in the dark. But the darkness is from where I come. To destroy you. Hmm. I shall kill you. And somehow your friends will not understand what has just occurred. They will see a strange man doing strange things, but will not care to investigate further. Yes, I can climb up this. Climb faster, Ezio, for the love of God. People are staring. Very good eyes on you. Hmm. Well, that just also goes to show that... Can't really trust... Like, that way. Hmm, I could kill him and he wouldn't be seen by them, but he could be seen by... Those guys. Can I target him? I can. Knife. Works for me. I'll kill you. I will carry your body. On the offhand chance that guy grows eyes. 
But then on the guys like uh, patrol back, maybe because there's like two spear guys. Actually, there might be multiple guys. Back up we go. Try and get a bird's eye view of the world. Because there's one spear guy, one normal guy that way. Hmm. If I killed him, he would definitely be seen by his little friend over there. But that guy's patrols really fast. So, hmm. Hmm. So I think I'll knife him. Jump over and then knife him. Oop. Once again, water that is not water. That's kind of annoying. Why do I have option of throwing knife when... He's a master evader. Also hilarious that his friend just drops dead. And he's just like, ah, oh, you know, normal everyday things. <laughs> it is okay, that's actually kind of freaky. The dead body in the water, but only slightly. Mm. Once again, oh I guess I did run out that time. Knife! But going through all of this undetected seems like a little bit of a chore. Oh well, luckily I don't really care about bonus objectives right now. I might look up what the bon what the bonus objectives get you in this game, because it depends. If they are only cheat codes this time, I will not care. If they give missions, pain and misery shall ensue. Well, let's climb up and get the drop on that guy, I guess. Guess not even get the drop on that guy. We go this way. Further into the darkness. There is someone down here with us. Keep your eyes open and your hands steady. I think telling them that somebody is out there is like... The exact opposite of keeping them steady. And apparently I need to search for, like, the holder of the key this time. Interesting that I could... <laughs> it seems a little pick and choose on the game's part on who I can super long range detect. <coughs> Which I guess is fine in the end. They don't want you to, like, super long-range one guy. Because it's, like, story reasons. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's anybody looking at you, so we shall kill you and loot your body. Oh. So that's how this guy plays his game. Alright, that's interesting mechanic. Super paranoid man. He is worried over what exists in the shadows. I wanted to loot that guy. Well, maybe now that uh, they're looking the other way, directing his forces differently, I can go down and loot. Maybe. Because there is one guy searching that area. I'm paranoid now to go down and get more knives. I could always shoot them with poison within their numbers. 
Because I do have poison darts. Get poisoned, fool. That might draw their attention a bit more that I can then hopefully drop down here. And I just want to loot! I just want to loot! So this guy's super paranoid! Maybe I'll be able to loot this guy. Maybe he'll then say, over there, in the light. Dying, give me your loot. You're not insane yet. I shot you. Fine. Knife. Just slowly whittling away his friends. Got more throwing knives. I guess I can then climb up to this area. Pick off some more of his guys. And the more of his guys that he sends out looking for me, I can then take them out one by one. Kind of like... Uh, da, da, da. What is it? The Predator missions in the uh, Batman Arkham games. The ones that are alone, I can... throw knives at, but the ones that are... like that guy... I'll need to poison dart. Which luckily seemed like it worked, unlike the last guy I poison darted. Is he gonna fall into the water? That would be kind of funny. Actually, he seems to have left him, uh, his backside open. Well, it's because he's actually looking for his dead friend. And now he's bouncing around crazily. You don't see anything behind the barrels. Maybe he does see something behind the barrels. All right, that guy was weird. One knife took, like, a fifth of his health away. And then the second knife killed him. Sure thing, game. A little annoying that every single time you come down, he's like, Over there, I see something in the shadows. Forcing you to then scramble back up. I keep forgetting. That's not what the Eagle Sense button is anymore. Still so used to it being the throne of the secondary weapon button that it is now. Because it used to go by Tekken rules. Ah, the top face button. That's your head. Then the other ones are your left hand, your right hand, and your legs. And then they're like, ah, screw that. Let's change up everything. And I got the Massey app key before them. It's not even a key, it is a disc. My favorite CD. Wow. 
<laughs> Full synchronization failed. Yeah, because it's kind of a jerk move. I get it's like the whole, like, stand, like... Uh, personally, I just, I'm not a fan of fail state bonus objectives. Kind of amusing they don't force you to, like, go out a secondary secret door. Like all the other tomb places that we have with Ezio. This time, like, yeah, we'll just end the mission and send you out on your way. But yeah, fail state diddly dees. Little bit of an annoyance, pet peeve of mine when it comes to these games. There's a whole, <laughs> there's a whole That's stuff down there. What did you find? A key. Something that may interest you. We didn't find that down there, did we? Mio Dio, che meraviglia! And here is my shop. Look at the margins. Strange symbols, and these are titles of books. Rare books. A few of these. So bookshops will be important to this. Nicolo Polo hid these books around the city. This map should tell us where. Hmm. You're beginning to interest me. Vaguely. Eh. Vaguely. From what I can tell, I need to find these three books first. They may contain clues to locate the rest of these. Molto curioso. Another was found beneath Topkapa Palace, but there is still time to reach the others. Found by whom? Templars. Men who do not read. <laughs> Sophia, can you decipher this map? Help me find these books. Can I borrow them when you are finished? <laughs> of course. We will work something out. Would have thought that books... I guess it makes sense. They added bookshops all over town. Yusuf, salute. Piri told me I might see you here. Did you find what you were looking for? I found a key. So. And <laughs> perhaps this things towards others. Five keys. A strange artifact. Just holding it out in the open, why don't you? Ah, it is like nothing I have ever seen. We should keep it somewhere safe. At our headquarters, see. I will. What brings you this way? Well, I mean, I we've had traitors amongst our midst. The thieves in the bazaar. The and we trust them. Near the arsenal, and the Romanis in the Constantine district. You are spread a bit thin, Yusuf. Let me speak with the Romanis myself. I have had so little contact with them in the past. That would ease my mind. If you are in a hurry, you may travel by our network of tunnels. The air down there is a little foul, but the rats are no bigger than dogs. Have fun. Grazie. <laughs> Rodents of unordinary size, you say? Hmm. Ah, since we're in the neighborhood, let's at least grab a few... Synchronization Towers. Sophia memory. Oh uh, boy. That's, that's what the synchronization percentage is for this one, isn't it? Locked Den. Ha. Huh. Wonder what that means. And we might even try to... Do that Templar Den, maybe. For giggles. And off we go. For more little side thingies. And I should probably take my money out of the bank soon. Before they start stealing from me. That is a funny thing with... Claudia, at least it made sense. She's like, haha, I'm going to skim off the top if you don't take your share too, <laughs> for too long. Meanwhile, the banks are just like, if you leave your money with us, the bank, we will take your money. Because we're the bank. To the tower! 
Up the tower we go. Climb. We must climb quickly. Nope, can't go that way. Because for some reason the architect on this tower was like half circles. All the way to the top. I wonder how historically accurate that is. And remember, Eagle Vision is the stick now, not the triangle button. Half synchronization towers done. I do not care. I want my map. We will go over there, do that one, and maybe even try to free that that tower. That that den. <laughs> I just run. And slowly into view come the beggars. We are here to demand your money. Yeah, the hook blade is such a nice addition to the game. You do not exist. That guy almost got angry at me. Meanwhile, his friend is dead. Or maybe he's just doing a little pose. Okay, I will down you this instant. And even though his body fell, his loot is mine. Eh, yeah, we'll let him go on his way, then we'll jump up, kill him, and take his lunch money. You fool. You have gotten in my way. And now, you must die. It is I, the rats of unordinary size. <laughs> Overkiller. No idea what that is. Probably kill X number of people. So it looks like we can only get up through there. The scaffolding. Who just leaves hay in the middle of the road? That is most unusual. Climbing. No human has ever done that before. Most obscene. The Hippodrome. To me, that just sounds like a giant hippo-based monstrosity that the Shredder would drive. Uh, Ezio, you, uh, you work in a job at the stair-step bar? And now, more synchronization. It is a nice city skyline. It does look nice. I wonder what Constantinople looks like today. That might be interesting. Well, let's go try and take a den. Get more assassins under my wing. So that we can maybe get the... Mostly so we can, like, send out more people on missions. As well as have more assassin charges to use. Oh, oh never mind. Knife! And he rolled off. Ah, but he, he landed in a nook. 
We'll see where that guy goes, take him out, and begin looting. Because I want more knives. I choose die for you. Oh, there's a marksman station here. I keep forgetting that they have those. Mainly because they look like little balconies. Bye-bye. So there are two targets that I need to kill. Hmm. And there's the Templar ballot box. Wish I could lock onto him from further away. But oh well. Why are all... Of course that building is just isolated. Oh, I know. Maybe I could, uh... Hmm. They're splitting up, so... Maybe when they come back around here, I can throw the bomb and kill them both with a bomb. Maybe. We shall wait for them to come. Having to bounce it off the... geometry. Bomb! Still means that I need to get two of the tower now, but at least I don't have to worry as much. But hey, I used the bombs as they were meant to be used for murder. Interesting that the <laughs> this Templar captain was Templar captains. As I fell, so did the enemy body. Now I just need to hope that there are no marksman boxes facing this tower. Because that would just be mean. Hey, you know our tower, the main thing that is our base? Let's have some of our people look at it. All day. Now that that's that, I can now knight someone at this den. But not before we go and rescue somebody. I do find it kind of funny that the Templars are just like, Oh well, our guards died. And they lit the signal fire, let's get out of here. Uh, you all right, my dude? Oh, and more buildings can be renovated in this area, too. I forgot. You there? Hello? Can you help me? What is troubling you, amigo? What There's must I kill? In this district putting curses on people with little <laughs> silver coins. Curses. Curses. Well, not curses, exactly, but old Byzantine coins. She is sneaking them into our pockets. Making our people scared. <laughs> and I do not find it funny. <laughs> Why does he default to gremlin mode? Keep your leggings on. I will have a look. Why do you default to gremlin mode, my little man? So now we have to identify a target. <laughs> Obviously not him. 
It's the public speaker. Get him. He uses his voice. Why is everyone defaulting to gremlin mode? I hook your leg. Quite a trick you have there. Sleeping worthless coins into men's pockets. Have you ever been caught? Just my Not coins. Once. Although I have on occasion taken money as well. Why would I you even slip coins into people's Why pockets just to mess with them? Use. That's, a, that's kind of hilarious. We do a little trolling. Well, it would be nice to be part of something larger than myself. Evet. I will fight with you. Kind of hilarious. Help! There is a woman putting coins into people's pockets! The treachery. I can't even use this coin! We shall make you the master assassin of this den. Then I guess we'll do whatever mission this is. Merhaba, mentor. In all your wanderings, have you heard the name Lisi Strata? And then we'll send people out on missions. Not quite. She is a local actress named for the character in that play. I have not. Will you walk with me? We have a small problem. I want her dead. Do not let your apprentice get hurt. Oh boy. We have been hearing rumors for some time now that paint Lissi Strata in a very dangerous light. We fear she is responsible for the disappearance of several eminent men throughout the Empire. But you have no proof? Not yet. But today we may. What fun. There she is. And she has company. I will tail her from the street. You take to the rooftops. Take note of anything suspicious. Bene. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Help. Granted, going to the rooftops there would have been bad anyway. Quick, take to the rooftops. As they take a path that is, like, very hard to follow from the rooftops. What? Alright, so, uh, assassin assassins are in play. Oh, come on. Don't do that, game. And now I have none. And they're gonna do the annoying thing of, I'm going to follow when I can't use my gun. I really need to upgrade my throwing knife pouch. Can't really protect my apprentice when, uh, the guy who's, uh, trying to get, uh... Why are there just a bunch of dead guys up here? What the fuck? There's just, there's, there's just a bunch of dead guys up here! Uh, game, I cannot both kill that guy. Oh no, now he's coming. I'm just gonna... I have to do that because else they will do the mean thing. And be like, ah, I'm going to get up next to my... to your apprentice and then swing my sword sword randomly. And yeah, why was there a bunch of dead guys up there? Multiple? Rude. I'm on 
only visiting. I don't know what's going You said that you were gonna I was gonna take the rooftops. Great, this means I have to do more work to protect you. Is he gonna get attacked by a gang of weasels? But again, the the bunch of dead bodies confuses me. Because you'd think that would be where she stashes her dead body boyfriends. Don't tell me there's going to be ranged guys coming after my apprentice now. That'd be very mean. But yeah, again, it, if the dumping ground of the dead body boyfriends is at that, like, a kind of coliseum place, kind of ancient diddly d. Uh, apprentice? Uh, oh, of course, they don't see you. They see you and they're like, God, oh, just a crazy person. But if they see me, they're like, oh my god, I'm being tailed. And again, you followed them from the rooftops decently much. Good. Hope none of my- hope this apprentice doesn't kill an innocent person. Like... my last one did. Mentor, I will kill this guy. Is she too going to get away? Is my apprentice going to accidentally kill the innocent man? Not today. How does that even function? <coughs> Mentor! She disappeared! can find her if we hurry. Well, we just led back to this. Forgive me, Mentor. I attacked too soon with too much distance between us. I should have stopped that witch. To live is to learn. Take this lesson to heart and clear your mind. You will have another chance. You'd think somebody would have found all these bodies. Ooh, we could rescue another assassin potential recruit person. Works for me. I'd love to send more assassins out on missions. Ah, I was in a cutscene. That means you can't attack me, fool. The liberation of Roma has begun. Liberty, join our cause. Fight to restore peace to these troubled times. You are an inspiration, Effendian. I will add my voice to this chorus. That is an inspired line. I will add my voice to this chorus. That is a good line. I'm writing that down. That with the, my eyes will be open like two full moons. It was like, just really good. Well done writing for the, like, <laughs> these side things. But, t -t -t -t. Eh, since we're down here, we might as well come over here, do the viewpoint. Apparently none of my, uh, oh, nope, there is one assassin din available to me. Don't know where the, why the assassin din down here isn't available. Or maybe I'm just blind. 
So yeah, we'll come down there. Depending on things. Ah, since it's on the way, maybe we'll rescue that den as well. Because there doesn't seem to be much else. I do kind of like that the recruitment missions are kind of split between, hey, just, like, kill the guards and save this person, and actual unique recruitment missions. Well, actually, actually, first things first, I should take money out of the bank. And there is a bank right over there. We will buy it, and, well, can we buy it? I have the money to buy a bank. Let's go buy a bank, and then withdraw from the bank that I bought. Trying to decide the proper ways to go. We must go. Buy banks. Buy the banks. When the capitalists no longer own the banks, the world will thrive. If only Aunt Funda could see this. A man climbing? That doesn't exist in this world. If only my family was here to see this. And then I think this will be enough for me to get my crossbow. Maybe. Might as well buy the books. Or like the bookshop. Because bookshop important. We'll see what kind of books they have. You have lots of books. Lots of expensive books. Then again, I think the books are shared amongst all of them, so I wouldn't really need to... Hmm. First things first, we'll go buy a blacksmith. Next time, yes. See how much a diddly d crossbow is worth. You think, since my assassins have crossbows, that I could have crossbow? Just have one of the crossbows that some of my minions use. But no, I have to buy my own crossbow. Crossbow. Very expensive, but I shall buy it. I don't really care about my big weapons. Hmm, slightly better diddly dee. Ooh, super good reflect. Well, let's see, like... Ah, uh, but now... Because I just bought it, and the game had it out for me for some reason. I'll buy this just so I can window shop the prices on pouches. Still don't know why it locks me in place every single time I buy a place. Apparently buying a bunch of stuff gets the attention of the, the Templar. If I get a little bit more money, I can get more quivers. As opposed to knives. Hmm. I don't, actually haven't been using medicine all that much. Alright, we'll continue down here. Do that. Do that. Then maybe head... Well, actually... I was gonna say... Are we in the area of my... Again, for some reason, the assassins... Are just like... Oh, no, there it is. We'll head by the assassin then. Like, uh... Send people out on missions. And then we'll do that viewpoint. My brain just... 
is terrible when it comes to just like, hey, this is thing. Oh, it's interesting. It is a main weapon. You'd think that it would be a side thing, kind of like the the gun, but I guess it is something that I have to draw, so maybe that's their rationale? I think it's a little silly, but oh well. Can't really complain about it. Really, yes. Now let's send out my mini recruits on missions. And a new assassin signal has been awarded. You'd think bribing a herald would be very quick and easy. Hmm, but let's find, like... <laughs> Apparently I have enough to reclaim the city. That is hilarious. Alexandria, the memory seals. Just trying to find one that gives, like... Assassinate a supplier. Hilariously. Yes, I think I will send them out on that. Assassinate a supplier. And go ahead and do that too. Does leave me without any assassins to use, but oh well. They will level up. Level up grandly. Now we head out to that. And while we're there, might as well also do like the mercenary mission. Because there's a mercenary mission there. I'm saving up for weaponry, you harlots. Leave me alone. Hmm. Fog in a graveyard. How fitting. I haven't been assaulted by the assassin assassins in a hot minute. Last time, they only came after me, like, literally right at the end of the stream, so I wonder if they'll do a repeat performance of that gag. Oh, you're trying to end the stream. Have at thee. Of course one of you would show up. I still don't really understand the point of the meter now. If it's not the guards being like, you, you commit crime, but it's rather the Templar. Maybe it's to avoid assaults on your home bases? Maybe. If you run out with the diddly D too much, too high, they'll attack more likely? I don't know. Oh, I need to climb even higher. To the top I go, to synchronize with the birds. And then I'll probably have to go around de-escalating my Templar awareness. On the offhand chance that they're like, Aha, we shall attack your dins. Guess we can only really look around once we're on ground level. Wow. 
Ooh. A great fall from a great height. I appeal directly to Karim beneath your notice. I might as well do this mercenary mission while we're here. Why not? Can't wait for that door to disappear when we talk to this guy. The bastards! The damn bastards! I will tear off their arms and use them as clubs. Calm, friend. Anger is the enemy of caution. He's very Those angry, though. Dogs kidnapped my son, Ezio. To get at me, they attack an innocent boy. Yeah, that sounds like him. You can get your son back, but only if we coordinate and act carefully. Emmett, of course. If you leave, I will follow. Free the captured mercenaries without being detected. Several mercenaries have been captured and detained. Infiltrate where they are and kill the people responsible. I love, like, the hunched posture of the mercenaries. Like, they're so angry and ready to go to war. Why are you just standing there, my dude? Oh, it's a black market man. To work. Go fight them. We will get him to a doctor. Come, mercenary son. Oh, fuck. There's just guys there ready to kill me for existing. Get out of the way, dudes. I'm carrying a sick man. Bridal style. Come along, weak man. You are now. Prepare to die. How do I... I know your death. Hi. Thank you for killing him. At least for now. Don't mind me. I will just bypass you all. And then they all despawn. Doctor. This man is weak. Akima Fendi. This boy has been poisoned. Give me room. I subscribe leeches. It's a trap. It's a trap. Say again. The Templars, they use me as bait to flush you out, to kill all of you. Have we been followed? I would not doubt it. Take positions and be ready for anything. Funny how there's like, oh, we've been followed, but at the same time, it seems like less that we were followed and more like they, like, prepared for us. Let no one get close. Hold the line. Oh. Steady. I'll have to fix that. Keep close. Oh. 
Do not waver. <laughs> the fact that he just like crumpled down like paper. Looked hilarious. Hold the line. Still a brutal animation of just stabbing him through the heads. Steady. How many are they willing to put towards this raid? Keep close. Die. Stab to the back. Do not waver. My kill streak didn't go through. Sadness. Hold the line. Steady. And with the last Byzantine, team, the normal guards will go away. I am fine, Father. Stop doting. <laughs> well, if you think saving your life is doting, there may be hope for you yet. <laughs> Ah. Oh, I need to lay down. Drink water and keep still. Agitation speeds the poison through your body. I owe you a great debt. a very odd plan of theirs. We're going to lure Ezio and the mercenaries out with a poisoned guy that we captured. But we're also gonna put, like, guards precisely where they're gonna take him to a doctor. Say goodnight, my little man. You are now dead. And then I guess while on the way to freeing things up, on the way to that den, we will also look for like heralds to bribe. Because I still don't know exactly what having large Templar awareness does. But it also seems very, like, scattered on ways of lowering it. So it's almost like they want you to have high Templar awareness at some, for just, like, large swaths of time, it seems. Oh, and then we can just bribe him again. Let's go bribe him again. I will pay you double. <laughs> That's almost ac that almost seems like I paid him, and it, as soon as I was out of eyesight, he was just like, "The evil assassins are here to kill us all," and then I immediately come back to <laughs> bribe him again. But now that completely wrong one. Oh. Oh, it's a flea man. It's a flea man we have to kill. Something deadly about him. I will loot your body. Hopefully get the flea man in sight. And send my assassin recruit after. Kill.
Uh, please don't kill my recruits. I'm here to light a signal fire. Like, literally, Ezio, climb faster. They're killing our boys. The kind of distorted music that plays when you ride a, light a signal fire is kind of cool. And there's, like, automatically a... A curse on you, Sears. What? You have ruined me. I hope the Janissaries pluck out your eyes and cut off your hands. Signora, what is troubling you? What is going on? Those brutes there. They attacked me in my home and robbed me of my possessions. Please, help. Time for murder. Ah, protector. Kind of funny that the, like, guards were just... Like, ready to... Like, still patrolling... As if I hadn't done the thing. I owe you my life already, Effendi. But I must ask another favor. Will you follow? All right. Where to? Back to my shop where these men first set upon me. I fear they have taken or destroyed everything I owe. Lead on. How many more men must die? And once again, you are uh, gremlin mode. I will follow you, Gremlin Mode. Take me to your Gremlin home. Surely we could have gotten there, uh, faster on the ground. At least by the pace we're setting. For someone who apparently ran a normal shop, you are quite acquainted with just uh, going across the rooftops. They are still here! Out, you damn thieves! Get out of my shop! Die. Out, damn spot. Through the armpit. Utterly cruel. Again. <laughs> you have done a great good, Effendi. Just gremlin I'm mode. Sorry, I have nothing but my respect to offer you in return. Join my murder cult. Anything, but consider lending your skills to the assassins. You are a skilled climber and could learn so much more. Ah, I am grateful for the offer. Truly. Gremlin mode. I don't know why so many people enter gremlin, gremlin mode around me. Then I guess we'll come save this one and then send out more people on missions. Wrong way. Stop it! What is wrong with you? Stop it! What is wrong with you? Video game. That is what is wrong. Through the power of teleportation, they have been saved. All right, invisible, uh... uh the guard is dying. Hilarious that the guard came in. Like, to fight the Byzantine Templars. Only to then begin beating up the innocent lady. Come on, come on. Even you went gremlin mode. If you respect life and liberty, join the our revelation call. of Fight Roma has begun. Times. Join me. Inspiration, Effendi. I will add my voice to this chorus. Repeated the line, but it's a good line. <laughs> Run! Get out of my way! Run! 
I even cut off a guy that was running from me. Interesting how some of them are like level one and some of them are like higher level. It's just kind of funny. These guys are still out on their mission. So let's see if we can like find a super mission. Nope, that will not work. Also will not work. Because I want to, like, send them out with my... big assassin. To, like, get them as much experience as possible. Then again, let's see. Hundred experience just doesn't seem like a lot. Especially when split between two. You can't even do that. The one that would be decent for you, you can't even really do. You are a failure. <laughs> Study the scholars. For some reason, all of them just feel... Well, maybe this one is simple and you can do alone. It'll basically just level you up once, though. Which kind of makes it worthless. Nah, not good. Can't even do that one. Needs a dagger. Just trying to find the... Like, split between... Like, actually getting something from it. Like this one. 3,000 experience, you say? I could send all of them and that will level them up nicely, I'd say. A thousand each. And then that will leave me with one assassin. To have for killing. Hmm. Then there's an extra diddly dee down there, and then we can do another. We can also buy. Let's buy this bank and withdraw again. <laughs> Crazy beggars. It's like he's dressed differently from everyone else. Get him! Why doesn't someone stop him? Because they know better, Bill. They know better than to judge me. They know better than to fight me, Bill. They all know better than to fight me. I'll just buy some shops that are in the area. Again, just haven't been attacked by an assassin assassin in a long time. And I guess... D, D, then on the way to you. In the back alley. No wonder this shop went under. Nobody could find it. Wait, there was a... There was a tailor shop right next to the bank? It blended right in. Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and set that as my waypoint. Wow, 
Where are you, Taylor? Tinker Taylor, soldier spy. Apparently this Taylor works out from the back behind a bank. And apparently buying all this property has made me notorious amongst the, the gangs of the Templar. Nobody has the money to buy that many places. And I will get the quiver upgrade, because why not? I haven't really been using my fists at all in this game. Normally there's at least a few missions that are like, beat up this man. There doesn't seem to be any in this game. Two of my guys go down. Obviously. Can't be anything odd. Let us go. I can't climb this, I don't think. Now that might be... maybe. No, probably not. So through the gate I should probably go. Can't go through that gate. Area not available during the current memory. Ah. I don't care about that. I just want my map. That is my personal pet peeve with this design. So apparently this area is not available. Sadness. Then we will go and do the other thing. The other thing instead. Well established, I recently bought you. You did not exist five seconds ago. Well established? How? Through time travel, and that is definitely bread. Maybe even a sweet. So why is it whenever one of the breads fall to the... And Templar are attacking one of my dens. Oh boy. Which den? One of my recently acquired ones. Assholes. So that does seem to be what the Templar status is. It does seem to be a, a threat of Templars attacking you. Meter. Which does make it annoying because it goes up when I buy things. You spend money, the Templars know. But we shall go to defend our den. Then we will send more people out on missions after we re reclaim the den. It is interesting as a system that the Templars are actively retaliating against you and aren't really a pseudo-passive force, which is kind of neat. But I could see it getting bothersome as you're like, well, I can't buy any more stores or do any more missions because higgledy-biggledy hath happened. And we will have tons of people to send out on missions. <laughs> also a tad annoying that... How can you see me? That's stupid. 
Aerostorm. At least I had that. I had that at the end of the day. Well, that's time to do tower defense. Greek fire barricade. Have a short range and intense firepower. Assassin Caltrop Bomber. Do low damage, but slow effect to Templars for sure. Well, by the way, I don't care. Let me get on to the actual doing. Oh, my bad. Take your stand there. Defend that area. My brain wants to use the like the wrong one. Take your stand there. Hold that point for me. And now we're down cannons. No guns. Make your stand there. Hold there. Defend that area. Kill all the gunmen. We don't want them to get near. Make your stand there. Make your stand there. No, I refuse that army. Oh, that that's just gone. I do want to build a barricade. Wait, did we reach a maximum? Secure that point. Make your stand there. I need you to hold that point. Aha! They disappear. Well, actually, we'll make a Greek fire barricade to punish them. Make your stand there. And now for the pain. Well, this isn't even the final one. Stand 
Very interesting. We need like mad bomber assassins. Destroy the cannon! <laughs> the random ooh-ah-ahs of pain. Apparently we have just a massive army of assassins. Weaponized barricades are now available. We just killed a bunch of dudes. Granted, we lost a bunch of assassins, which again. Are these just minion assassins? So apparently... Uh, I don't even know. Apparently it doesn't want me to use... Cannons for that mission? Or something? I don't know what the sync on those are. Assassin Bruiser and Multi-Barrel Gun Barricade. Interesting. Like, I don't know. Maybe if those were, like, more specialized mini-games that are, like, done to, like, super-duper retake. Yeah, once your Templar submission has failed, Templars can launch an attack on one of your dens. I did not read that kind of tooltip in the past. I am very dumb. Very interesting for it to be, like... Different compared to previous games notoriety meters, so that's at least at least something It is a thing Level up galores for a bunch of people Every why is everyone gremlin mode? Is that just your natural posture, lady? That's why I like to send people out on super missions. Because it levels them the fuck up. Gives them a thousand each. Which is decent, I guess. Go ahead, go out and do it. Befriend the enema. Still out on the little prince mission. Six hundred each. Isn't great. Hmm. That would get her to be 
like super assassin. Decisions, decisions. Now that one seems like a good use of experience. And we shall take that. And there we go. Now everyone is out doing missions. Glorious, glorious missions. And I will definitely need to avoid the notoriety, of which I don't think the game will give me much choice. Because that does seem like a bit of an odd design feature, where they are like, hey, you, you do anything? You do a mission? You, you went and uh, bought some land? You bought a bank? Well, we're gonna punish you for that. And force you to drop whatever you're doing to go and counterattack the Templar who are counterattacking you. Which I guess isn't like super duper terrible, but. Like, I don't know, can I upgrade my. Ass Is that a thing? Have I been neglecting upgrading my assassins or something during the tower defense segments? They just seem very... I don't know, just very basic. Granted, I don't think I would really like an in-depth tower defense minigame in almost any game, because while I do enjoy some tower defense, I am bad at them. And typically, the game devolves into, if you are not min-maxed in your strategy, you will die. So I don't think that would be a fun, happy time for me. I think it would be very much pain. But let us go... ...and free this den from Templar clutches. <laughs> Honor is involved. <laughs> Whatever you say, random man. Whatever you say. Random man. Standing by and not doing anything. That's the... Oh, I messed up. I clicked. Why does my brain want to select that button as the weapon wheel. I don't know why. I don't know why my brain wants to use that as the weapon wheel. It is like literally the the not button. It is not the button to use. I'll have you know, I am allowed everywhere. Chewbacca, yeah or no? I have nothing against Chewbacca. He is a nice co-pilot man. <laughs> Guess he does kind of fall into the back... Like the background of the story, because... Can't really talk. But he's a fine enough character, if you ask me. I found you, and now I must kill you. Why are you hammering up here? Die. Assassinate. Air assassinate. Come on, we can air assassinate from here. Well, uh, bomb time, I guess. I have bombs! I would like to throw bombs, game. Game, I'd like to throw bombs! There we go, bomb!
And remember, while you are raiding a den badly, because people saw you zip lining from hell, to stay hydrated. Hydration is important. Especially when you are dealing with fire, to tell the Templar, hey, I killed your boss, go home. Not my cleanest one, but hey, he didn't run away. And so long as he doesn't run away, I take that as good. Man, you sound like a narrator. Thank you very much. That is my most common compliment to people saying, uh, yes, assassin, because I exist. Oh. Oh, you want help? Sure. Yeah, that's my most common compliment. Have nothing to fear At least I have my Your voice. Is safe with me. Oh, <laughs> then why, that's why you're yelling it at the top of your lungs. But I am an assassin in training myself. I am strong, fast, and quite a hit with the ladies. That is a star. I don't believe you. <laughs> he went gremlin mode. Why is that a con the constant thing in this game? We must defeat this man in a race. <laughs> well. Could spare a few moments. All right. Cupet bon caplopo. <laughs> Basically, at that I point, you, I was good. you are literally behind me, my dude. <laughs> you laugh. You are losing the race, and you are laughing. Here we go. Here you. Here we go. You say. As you lose the race. Excuse me, that? Uh, no, because I am in front of you, and looking behind is poor race etiquette. <laughs> then again, is so is my pathing, and god damn it, my capture card seems to be like cutting out a bit. At least, well, my, not my capture card. Might be my HDMI cable for the output to my side of things. Failure game. I went right through the checkpoint, and you're like, hey, fail. Oh, that's certainly never going to sign. How dare you, race game. I have defeated you, young man. You are good, old man. You have some natural talent yourself. Yarman, who is Ah, Ella, come. Meet my new mentor. I told you I was an assassin, my love. And to think you ever she's a uh, she's a Templar, isn't she? We were just taking nah, the air. That would be a funny thing. Discussing tactics and such, no? No, we were discussing when your training would begin. Sunrise every day. <laughs> but again, I do really like Understood. these recruitment missions. Uh, Eret, of course, mentor. They're just very nice, more in depth. They still have the oh, beat up guards who are h harassing people, but. A lot of them are nice and actually feel weighty in the recruitment of the assassins. Which is a vast, vast upgrade. I very much enjoy it. Especially because it seems to be one mission is a uh, simple recruitment, one mission is more involved. It's just very nice. And why is it whenever I come to save people here, these guards are like, you are killing people who are harassing people? How dare? Goodbye, guard man. You must die. Everyone goes gremlin mode. Life and liberty. Join our cause. Habla Espanol? Sadly, no. I am, I am bad with language. I I barely function with English sometimes. Even Rashid himself could have treated you no better. It is a failing of me. Hello, Kaz. We are continuing our adventures here in Revelations Assassin's Creed. Just recruiting a ton of people. Getting to know our recruits. About to send them on death defying missions. Literal death defying because I refuse to send them on missions that put them at risk. Let's see. Hmm. I want to send. 
Although the, like, mission system for this game is slightly bothersome to me. I could send you out alone, but that doesn't really get you much experience. <laughs> British. I can do British accent and kind of slip into it from time to time, but no, I am American. The voice is odd and says, I want to be British, blah! Because it's a hideous demon child. Ah, well, I guess we can send you out on simple mission. It'll level you up only once. But it's fast, it's cheap, be gone. Go do things. Like, the more in-depth mission system is... Slightly bothersome. Once again, kind of quick. You can do it alone. Sure, go out and do things. Lego Star Wars? I have never played Lego... Well, maybe. A long, long time ago. But in recent memories, I have not played Lego Star Wars. And the Lego games don't, like, super duper interest me. Like, it's, it's one of those things that are like, maybe I'll get to them. I really should sometime. They're kind of interesting. Ish looking, but... They're not, like, the kind of game that jumps to my mind of, I want to play that right now. <laughs> you should make a British voice redeem as channel points. You know, that is a good idea. But at the same time, my brain is just like... Would then go and be like, ah, overplay the British accent. And then it'll just, like, ruin the charm of it. Brain does not understand very much on how to do accents on the fly. Just like, I'm gonna slip into an accent. Why do accents, like, willfully? No, subconsciously. But that is an idea. Potentially. But then I have to, like, set, like... I don't know. My brain overthinks things. I'd love that. For me, I made a similar redeem, and my brain just shuts down so I know. Ah, where would you look at that? Almost passed by the tower that the... Uh, hopefully I can climb this. For some reason my brain just is like, Oh, we can't climb that, it's too sheer-faced. And precisely right now my brain has completely forgotten what a British accent even is. See, I thank you for... Thank you for passing by, Pablo. How far are you into this? Not too far. I've only done a little bit of this. Like, I got the first key and kind of started the book quest line. I guess you could call it that. It's so, like, only just, just started. Things. Because this is the second stream, and... So we're about five, six-ish hours into the game. And so far, I've been really enjoying Revelations. Much more than I did uh, Brotherhood, but I'm not sure how much that comes from the game being slightly better designed or just better to my liking, or if it is... Uh, me having come to the realization, oh, I hate the bonus objective synchronization things, I'm going to kind of detach my brain from them. Whereas in Brotherhood, my brain went, I have to do them all! Uh, after, like, realizing that it's just get a certain total percentage of the DDD synchronization, my brain kind of uh, went, oh, okay, we can kind of ignore them. Because, for whatever reason, the Brotherhood ones, like, and I will also say, so far, the 100%, like, uh, objective synchronization things have seemed a bit better in this game compared to Brotherhood. In Brotherhood, they constantly felt like, like, kind of mean in a way. But in this one, so far, there haven't been any that are mean. Like, mean mean. Some that are like, 
I would have preferred if it wasn't something like that, but hey. Not bad. It was also because basically every other synchronization bonus was a beat this mission in five minutes and it <laughs> ruined the like puzzle of the Leonardo DLC for me because like I want to enjoy the puzzle. And then the following mission, the, br the game was like, don't take any damage. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Blah. My brain is on fire. <laughs> And the thing that made me hate the synchronization bonus objective was the final Leonardo DLC mission in which I did I beat the combat segment and then the parkour pathfinding tried to go to an impossible jump and I took fall damage. That really ticked me off. I was just making sure that my HDMI cable to my capture card was properly plugged in and everything. Deleting. And now we shall go to the Romani. Who so far... I beg of you, game. Treat them well. You were good to not make them the thieves in this game. But please do not fall into too much stereotype. I get this is game fiction and stuff, but still, Romani have had... Uh, just poor representation when it comes to stereotyping. But yeah, so far when it comes to the Assassin's Creed games, I gotta say Brotherhood might very well be my least favorite. The story kind of feels inconsequential in a way. Like for Desmond and crew, it feels like definitely a connector game, except for the end, which is obvious because it's the end. And, like, while, yes, the entire game was like, oh, we have to get rid of Cesare, he's a danger. We, considering the fact that he's out of the picture for most of it, and none of the other targets are really introduced or given much personality, except for, like, the mission before them, if they're lucky. <laughs> Like, there didn't, it didn't seem like there were that many main targets. It's like, that's actually a cool thing about this game so far, is that there aren't really any assassination targets. It's like a goal, and then there are like mini targets that we deal with along the way. I've not played Brotherhood, but seems very incoherent. I wouldn't say incoherent, just lesser compared to the other ones. But I've right. seen happier men at the gallows. What mission Best must we do for you? Elsewhere, Today the Byzantines stole half a year's worth of coin from us. Yeesh. Mi dispiace. Can I help? Perhaps. For centuries, my people have been slandered and insulted, labeled witches and warlocks. Well, so be it. We will not run from these lies anymore. But they will the use their lies against them. Encourage these rumors, for it is better to be infamous than ignored. I like the sound of that. Here is my plan. Every man who touched that chest of coins <laughs> must die, but discreetly, as if cursed by a pagan hex. The Romani curse becomes our blessing. Perhaps then people will leave us be. An interesting idea. Not sure if that has any historical whoopsies to it, because I am not much historical person, but seems like a neat thing. Poison all of your targets while blending in with the Romanis. But yeah, Brotherhood, like, if it wasn't as, like, I don't know, it just felt like kind of bloated with side quests and just had a bunch of, like, overall, it isn't terrible, but it's definitely my least favorite, like, Assassin's Creed so far. And all of you guys are mean. I just want to kill this Templar man. I throw a knife. want to get rid of that Templar notoriety so they won't attack my goddamn dins. Yeah, because at least the story of Brotherhood didn't, like, ruin the ending of 2. Like, the kind of op like the opening kind of might uh, have you worry. 
Cesare is an interesting villain, but again, he's not really in it all that much. Because it's like, we must kill Cesare. Cesare has left. All right, we will establish a base in Rome and uh, undercut Cesare and deal with him when he comes back. Would you say it's more of a preference thing? Probably, at the end of the day. I would say, objectively, the story is, like... The story of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, aside from, like, uh, like, maybe a few characters not appearing and, like, really, actually, when it comes to overall everything, it doesn't really seem like Brotherhood has much bearing on Revelations. Except for the end of, uh, the end of the game, in terms of, like, uh, Desmond and the assassins. Because that really seems to be the only thing. Desmond and the assassins are the only part that really go anywhere in Brotherhood, but it's only really at the end. Oh, they didn't want me to uh, poison that guy because. Oh. No, game. Wow, he's got a shot at Taylor. I will look for my targets of Eagle Vision. I keep forgetting that that's a thing. And another part of my brain keeps forgetting that it's not. Uh, not uh, no longer on the. like, top face button. Life would be so Interesting. I might try it out. Do you recommend? I would say it's okay to, like, try out. But just, like, don't really feel obligated to, like, do the synchronization bonuses. Don't feel like... Uh, da -da -da. Bum -bum -bum, I'm trying to think it properly. Because it does make gameplay improvements, but... Personally, the gameplay improvements of, like, uh, this game so far is, seems better overall. And also, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, at least for the Ezio collection, seemed a bit more, like, buggy and off compared to 2 and even Revelation so far. So it's the kind of thing where, personally, I have my issues with it, and I do intend to make, like, a YouTube video going over, like, my thoughts more in-depth. So maybe be on the lookout for that. What the hell is going on here? Hopefully there's n not the too many... The what? Like, more guys I have to poison. I only have, uh... Well, actually, I have two more. Does it refund my poison? That would be neat. That would be nice. But yeah, I guess to expand on one thing, there are way too many side quests in Brotherhood. Where it's like, oh yeah, and also, there's a side, like story of La Volpe being uh, wary of uh, Machiavelli, thinking that Machiavelli has betrayed the Brotherhood. And that is a terrible like side story. It doesn't really go anywhere, and it's a big old red herring. <laughs> that was smooth. I do like it when the missions like allow for nice things. Haha. <laughs> the old tricks are always the best. Poisoning from crowds. Be careful, Ezio. I hear that chest is cursed. Cheeky. Where to, bella donna? This way. Although I do alert. have to say, why would the, uh... the... the guard be like... 
Have you heard the term gypsy? Yeah, it's Quite a slur. Often, see. But yeah, like, the guards, like, let the Romani near them. The misapprehension that my people are from Egypt? Ah. You find it offensive? <laughs> I find it funny. My people are from Eastern Persia and beyond. Yet, somehow we have become citizens of a land we have never seen. I never heard of that, like... People are quick to judge and slow to Origin before. <laughs> people are stupid. Sometimes. Ezio. The simplest answer is always the best. That's neat that they actually give a history lesson there. Very nice. You should count it. Make sure everything is there. See if uh, there's any more cursed coin that I have to track down. And you can count on us from here on out. For anything. At any time. Good to know. If I need, say, to borrow some money, <laughs> I will ask you. That was a nice mission. It was well designed. Hmm. I guess we'll come down here to that viewpoint. Ooh, Master Assassin mission, sure, but... What I'll probably do is that and see if the hidden tomb is like anything. Last time I went to a hidden tomb marker, it was like, psych, that is just a diddly d, like a map to a hidden tomb, which is a little odd, but eh. But yeah, so far, Revelations has been lo a lot more fun, like inherently. The story seems a bit better, the pacing is nice. Actually, the pacing is fantastic. In Brotherhood, it takes you a little while to get, like, the Brotherhood up and going. And there's, like, so many, oh, you can't access this area yet moments. <coughs> like, the way that I put it in my preliminary script is, you know, memory sequence 13 in Assassin's Creed 2? It kind of feels like they reined in the designer of that memory sequence and then had them design an entire game. That is how I would describe Brotherhood. A lot of needlessly complicated things. Uh, oh, I can do that. My, for some reason, my brain thought that we couldn't make it. But yeah, like, climbing can be needlessly complicated, the bonus objectives are needlessly complicated and lazy sometimes. Just a bunch of needless complication. Honestly, I still have yet to be understand the whole gist of the Assassin's Creed story. All I've known is that you're in a coma and time travel. Don't know about time travel and the coma bit? Oh, except for this bit. Uh, the, uh, in Revelations, yeah. Because Desmond touched the Apple of Eden, and, like, uh, he would have died if not put into the Animus, which is a neat little thing, but essentially, uh, this isn't really time travel, unless they introduce time travel later in the series, I haven't gotten there yet, but it's just accessing genetic memories of your ancestors. And the overall story is the Templar want to enforce their own twisted order. Their totalitarian, authoritarian order of, like, brainwashing people and breaking people down to fit their version of order. Whereas the assassins want to preserve free will. And, like, basically oppose them and anybody who wants to, like, subjugate humanity for whatever greater good. Again, I have no idea where the story goes later. Like, I think they do something weird to Desmond, story-wise, down the line. They kind of have to at some point, because I don't think... Like, I have no idea where the story goes past this game. Or, like, Assassin's Creed 3, or Assassin's Creed 4, or, like, Unity? I think was after four, and then there's, then it just like spirals, there's rogue, there's so many, so, so many. But let's see what this here Templar tomb is. Is it to another key? I assume so, because that's how we opened up the last door.
True, it won't be exciting if something tragic doesn't happen to him again. Kinda, sorta. It's more like, I have no idea how they keep, like... So far, Desmond has just been a find the Apple of Eden thingy thing. Granted, then, then I don't know how they'd get, like, the... Well, I guess I could just say, ah, oh, here's another person with a lineage of assassinating in his DNA. In 1485, Count Vlad Tepes of Wallachia was slain in battle against the Ottomans. Wanting proof, Bayezid II, Bayezid II ordered that Vlad's head be brought to the city and locked away, exploring the Sultan's dangerous dungeons, not dangerous, and locate the final resting place of Vlad the Impaler Tepes. Complete the level within seven minutes. God damn it, my least favorite one. I don't like time trials, especially when it comes, because again, I, do, I still think that the, like, design principle of the bonus objective thingy is uh, ever so slightly poorly designed, because personally, I don't like it when like, missions are locked behind, like, time trials and stuff. Unless they're just more time trials. Because there are missions that can be accessed by doing this. Oh, yeah! And another thing that I kind of hate is... The save system in this game is terrible. Why is there a checkpoint system in this game when I myself cannot access the checkpoints? And that actually has come to bite me because one time, like, there was a weird thing where I was stuck in a cutscene but could still, like, play the game. So that set me back a little bit. Luckily, the skip cutscene button worked for that one. But then another cutscene kind of broke and uh, softlocked the game. That was fun. All because of a bonus objective, too. I guess they want to flex their game mechanics. And I failed. I, my brain went on autopilot, and I missed the long jump. At least the game said long jump. The soft lock... And, like, I wouldn't have bo been bothered too much by the soft lock if I could access the checkpoint system, but you can. If you go to the menu, there's restart, abort, and quit. And I think that only sometimes if you, like, like, harshly, like, quit the console, use the console to quit the game, that might trick the game into giving you a checkpoint. Like, I don't know. It's just a very weird system. And my brain just kind of goes, why have a checkpoint system? if you're not going to let the player interact with the checkpoints. It just doesn't seem bleh. It just doesn't seem good. Dang it, I thought I was being cool. Yeah, it's just like a bunch of things that weren't really issues in Assassin's Creed like 1 and 2 became issues because of the design decisions of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. At least they became more noticeable. Because, like, when you do, like, perfectionist... Ooh, diddly-dees. Oh, but... Uh, uh, probably should have reached out. My bad. Always odd when Ezio bounces off Invisible geometry. Well, interesting. Now we must climb away. Oh, and also Brotherhood, uh, like, further exas uh, exacerbated my least favorite aspect of the Assassin's Creed series so far, which is them taking the camera control away. I hate when ga this game does it. I get it. It's just like, oh, we're trying to, to push you the right way. But it just hurts. I guess they're making 
that one second just uh, am I supposed to climb again? Game. Ah, it wanted me to press a button. Okay, guess it wants me to leap for that. I guess they're making a beat route A and unlock route B while uh, technically saying free roam. I keep forgetting that now the game wants me to like utilize that. And I don't know. Beat route A while uh, to oh beat route A to unlock route B. I don't think I'm gonna be beating this one. Uh, don't even know where it wants me to do. It doesn't stop. okay. I was I swear I was pressing the jump button and being like, hey game, jump up and but I don't know. Could have sworn. But I don't know, that might be, but it doesn't seem like it. Retrieve the sword. Oh, hey, did we do it? Oh, for the checkpoints. No, not really. The checkpoint system is purely, oh, you got here. Uh, now you, uh, if you die, you come back here. That is what the checkpoints is. So it's like, you got to this point in the mission, if you die, or like, in a mission that says, don't get seen whatsoever, if you get seen, you get sent back to the checkpoint. And it's just like, not being able to restart from checkpoint yourself, with that kind of system, on top of having sometimes obtuse, annoying bonus objectives, is bothersome. And I kind of get in some aspect, because Brotherhood had a lot of time trial ones, like, beat this in five minutes. So, maybe they didn't want the player to be able to access the checkpoints because that would, like, mess up the bonus objective a bit. But at the same time, I would say, well, then something has to go. Either the checkpoints in the level or the time trial. But hey, I actually managed to... I will say... That bonus objective, the beat in seven minutes, seemed fairly okay. Because the game gave me enough time to mess up multiple times and still beat the bonus objective. Which then some people might go, well then what's the point of the bonus objective if it's so easy to beat? Like, I don't know. I say that it is fine enough. Let's see. There is a... Sophia memory. Oh, memory fragment. My brain was just like, what is that thing? Well, that's this is a. Uh, doesn't seem to be much. Then I guess we'll go get the last din. And, uh, see. Maybe do the Sophia memory and end stream after that. Because then we would have been going for like three hours and some change. But yeah, Brotherhood was just a kind of ball of annoying design, which I didn't like. Again, Assassin's Creed 2's uh, memory sequence 13, my least favorite memory sequence in all of Assassin's Creed. It felt like that kind of design philosophy was used in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood overall. I will always remember the, don't take any damage whatsoever. Oh, and you beat the combat sequence? Well, we're going to have Ezio try to jump to a place that is physically impossible and you'll take fall damage. <laughs> Anger. I love how you came out of a hole. Everyone's just normal. That is the way of the assassin. <laughs> Basically, when it comes to the bonus objectives, I don't like it when it's a fail state. I like it when it's like, ooh, kill the main target with a hidden blade, or poison the dudes from within it while hiding amongst the Romani. 
stuff like that. Things that you can opt into. Not things that are like, punish you. Because how dare. How dare you not do thing perfect, you must die. up there, hiding amongst... Which EC Creed's have you completed so far? Assassin's Creed 1, Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and now I'm playing this one. I'm playing them in order. This guy is just... decked out. There, game. Yay! Thank you, assassins. I don't want to oh, he gave up. Good for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're the OG. Kind of. I did play, like, originally Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 on Xbox 360 back in the day. I played it a long, long time ago. It's just that recently I was like, you know what? I want to play through even more Assassin's Creed's. And so I started a Assassin's Creed-a-thon. And I've been playing them on and off all year so far. And for some reason, I could have sworn that I played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Revelations, but I remember next to nothing about them. Would you ever plan on speedrunning the first ones? Probably not. Assassin's Creed 1 and, like would be interesting to speedrun, but the... Oh, my bad. I forgot we need to light the thing. My, I'm dumb. But... I don't think that the Assassin's Creed, like, 1 and 2 are the kinds of games that I would like to speedrun. Mainly because, even though I like these games, the parkour systems are kind of wonky. And, uh, would hurt me to try and do. <laughs> I remember also playing on PS2. On a PS2. <laughs> I don't... I don't think there was ever Assassin's Creed on a PS2. But who knows. My brain... Assassin signals. Oh, DIN leader selection. Sure. I select you. You will be the DIN leader. Weird that that one was in front of the table and not off to the side like the other ones. You have leveled up. I don't know why you're constantly gremlin mode. Let's see. Who shall be sent out? We will send... We will send our weakest among you on this very good mission. Go and go. Because, like, speedrunning is, a, like, an interesting notion. It would be very cool to do. But it would have to be a very, like, specific kind of game. Because my brain, I don't think, could, like, properly understand. Eh, why not send all of them? Why not? Talk to your apprentice. I don't think so. I will hold off on that, personally. Mainly because we are nearing the end of, like, the time that I want to dedicate to this. Oh, we'll go to the tower. I guess recruit two assassins, and then we will do the Sophia memory. Because I don't see another, like, memory available. Unless I'm blind. Like, who knows? Maybe that'll be like... I don't know. Maybe in the far-flung future. Where I am 
semi-decent at streaming, that might be, like, some kind of community goal to get me to speedrun a video game. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm super dumb. We are meant to be here. It's like, at this many subs, I will speedrun a game, and then the community can pull, like, multiple sessions, like... First, everyone can suggest games they want me to speedrun, and then I'll look over the games that, like, I have from that list, and then put it to a community vote. Game? Oh, there was that. There was, I think, uh, was a long time ago, Prob on PS3. I also remember playing an Alien game, I think. It was Alien vs. Predator. There was an Alien vs. Predator game, and various other, like, Alien games, like, beyond just Colonial Marines and, uh... Was it, uh... Isolation. Alien Isolation, yes. I must climb. Climb to the top of the world. To set it alive. For a moment there, I thought I accidentally clicked the jump button, and I was going to be mildly annoyed if I had to climb all the way back up. Yeah, overall, when it comes to speedrunning, it's an interesting thing. It's interesting to watch, but I'm not sure if I'd be good at it. And I already have, like, a billion things that I want to do. Brain is like, I want to write! I want to draw! I want to do YouTube videos! But I don't want to do sword training. I want to go and make reaction videos. Bully him harder! I never want to play Alien Isolation. Way too scary. I still need to go and play, like, various, various horror games at some point. Resident Evil, Dead Space. Brain is like, hey, why don't you play Amnesia? And the game that came before, I forget what it's called. It's basically the game made by the similar people. With, like, diddly deep. Amnesia being the slightly more polished... Uh, variant of the gameplay. Death Space. I wanted to see you play that. <coughs> At some point, I just have so many games that I want to play that it'll... It's on the docket of games that I want to play someday. But also Brain is like, I want to play Digimon World and various other Digimon games. Let's see, like... Digimon World, and yeah, various other Digimon games like Digimon Championship DS, Digimon Dusk. Ba -ba -ba. What other games are currently on my Blood brain of wanting to face play? Of this Add your voice and Need your to strength beat to the tide of Digimon Cyber Sleuth, but it's currently uploading the backlog of those streams onto the YouTube channel. I'm gonna have to, like... Deep clean my capture card. It is wigging out slightly. Hope it's not dying. That would be annoying to replace. How dare you, game. Game, please. Capture card slash game. Digimon, I've never gotten into that franchise. Hey, it's, it's one of those things that, like, I got into it myself because I grew up watching the anime Digimon Adventure. Always seemed interesting. Reminds me of Pokemon. It has its similarities because they both end in Mon in the Japanese. It's known as Digital Monsters, whereas in, like, uh, Pokemon is known as Pocket Monsters in Japan. And, uh, okay, game. Excuse me. They both involve monsters that you, like, ha raise as pets to evolve in combat. One second. Excuse me. I've been sneezing all day. You are not but the funny alone, thing is, Odyssey. whereas did uh, Pokemon did started Let out as, like, ooh, the wanting to convey the feeling me, of 
capturing bugs as a child and then done up as a RPG po uh, like a RPG uh, Digimon actually began as wanting to sell Tomagotchis to boys because Tomagotchi I believe is like oh this little pocket device that you raise a creature and take care of it, kind of like a pocket animal companion. And then they're like, how do we market this to boys? We make them fight! We make them monsters! We make them evolve so they can fight even bigger monsters! And then that's uh, Digimon came about. And then they were like, uh, it became a franchise, so like card game, video games, and anime. And all of them are like slightly different, like lore-wise how the Digimon act. Like, sometimes they seem to be just monsters. Sometimes they appear to be, like, actual intelligent beings of their own. The first three anime seasons, Adventure, Adventure O2, and Tamers, are really good animes. Even, like, the English dubs, though some people are like, I prefer the, the, the Japanese. It's basically, if you... It basically, if you don't mind, like, 90s, early 2000s anime dubbing. Especially Tamers, because that's when the dubbing company were like, Well, we're going down anyway! Let's make it dark like it originally was! Which is hilarious, because Digimon Tamers, the third Digimon season, was also the similar thing where the, like, people behind Digimon making the seasons were annoyed at being, like, constrained. And then the, like, head company was like, okay, okay, we'll let you, like, spread your uh, artistic freedom. And, like, it's like, aha, now we can make it slightly darker and tell an interesting story. It's just funny how both the English dub and the Japanese original production kind of mirrored each other, like, well, not mirrored each other, but, like, were similar in that way. I haven't been attacked by an assassin assassin in a while, so I'm paranoid. Hmm, that's a guy that I can talk to for, uh, assassin recruitment. So I guess that's, like, the final, like, story recruitment. Or at least a possible final one. But I'm gonna do a story story. But yeah. When it comes to, like, the Digimon games, they're kind of all over the place, but I definitely want to give them all a try. Even if Digimon World, the first one, I think. Oh yeah, and then there's also the weird stuff where some of the Digimon games were released on the Wonderswan. Uh, like, another Japanese handheld that never really left Japan. And then a main character from the Wonder Swan games, who is tied to the adventure timeline, showed up in Tamers because of executive meddling, and the people behind Tamers were so annoyed by that that they tried to relegate him to as far to the side as possible that he'd be forgotten. It's weird. And also one thing to understand about Digimon is, whereas Pokemon is like, kind of exists in the same world, game to game, and then the anime is its own wacky thing. With Digimon, like, season to season of the anime are, like, different, like, worlds, and then the games are, like, different worlds. It's, it can be crazy. They don't want to be relegated. They want to go crazy. But we shall do this mission, hopefully. And as we've been going for a decent while, this will hopefully be a the mission. Missions on this key are familiar, and the material. I have seen its kind before. Just like the apple of Eden, ancient technology from the first civilization. I wonder if they do anything much more with the first civilization people later in the series. That I also don't know. Oh hey, Masiyaf, being attacked! 
Are we gonna play as Altair? Ro Ro oh no, for a moment it's like, is it Robert? But you were from the first game. No, it's just an assassin. It's kind of nice to be in the Assassin Creed 1 aesthetic. Are you hurt? <laughs> they changed Broken Altair's foot. voice. I kind of miss it. I get it, he didn't sound. What is your name, brother? Altair, son of Umar. Umar, oh yes. Altair didn't he sound like he belonged in the same world, accent-wise before, but I miss his voice. It was the enemy unique. has overrun the castle. You live. And Al-Mualim, where is he? He was inside when the Crusaders broke through. But we can do nothing for him now. Altair, we must Obviously we don't lose this when place because castle, Assassin's Creed yes, 1 happens. In the village and drive them into the camp. You don't stand a chance! Abbas, no mistakes. Very interesting. Oh. Fight me! Fight me and die! <laughs> it's, it's a kind of odd scene. Assassin's Creed 1 Templars fighting with spears. I wish that, like. Oh, thank you, friend. We're going the wrong way. Me fool. How dare. I'm here to murder you. Almost wish that it, like, tried to replicate Assassin's Creed 1 aesthetic in this segment. But hey, it's nice to be back with Altair. Even if my brain likes is like, longs for the nostalgia of Assassin's Creed 1. It's just the feel aesthetic and overall everything of that game. It's just nice. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of you guys. <laughs> oh, bet. Game, do not bring back the curse of the... Oh, you countered me, but I refuse to die. Well, last time, they, nobody wants to fight me, I shall run. Excuse me! My bad. I do not know why. My body wants to go to war. That reminds me. Will we ever learn why... Oh, kill the Templar without being detected. Another Deep. step, and your mentor dies. Very well, then. You will not leave this place alive, traitor. No, you misunderstand. I am no traitor. For I cannot betray those I never truly love. Then you are doubly wretched, for you have been living a lie. You know, this kind of doesn't make sense in a way, because... Like, Al Mualim is now a Templar. You your lapdog to protect you. You disappoint me. Why not share what you have learned with everyone, like a proper assassin? Well, okay, there apparently was a bunch of full synchronization there. Save all citizens under attack. Not sure how I do that when Why the game literally won't let me fight everyone. Your ambition. Where is your sense of fraternity? You should have seen here. I know that match. Okay. Great, now we're back to the world of sorry my friend, but throwing knives do not instant kill. Then why do they exist? There needs to be like some indication. That was my main super gripe of Assassin's Creed 2. We're like, we're going to make Assassin <laughs> Diddly D. Not work all that well. Now you call on your lapdog to protect you? You disappoint me. Why not share what you have learned with everyone, like a proper assassin? Why not share with your brothers the true extent of your ambition? Where is your sense of fraternity? So, like, maybe this guy is, like, 
an anti-Templar. Because Al Mualim is a Templar. Please don't turn around, like, immediately. Another good man dies and still you say nothing. I am surprised. Ah, you taught here. me many things, Al Mualim, but patience oh. was not one of them. Speak now, All right, or I will cut that. out your tongue that you may speak no more! I'm afraid that he's gonna move. I really will have to test out my capture card. It's acting weird. Your time is running out, old man. Tell me what you know of the artifact. Tell me where you are searching for it. This is extra it is funny. It's a small price to pay to preserve what you have built here, no? Come on, that's totally in air assassin range. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> he punched a guy with a helmet. He probably hurt the guy with the helmet more than his hand. Ooh, confession you time. It's been a while. In the hearts of men, Altair. Templars know the truth. Humans are weak, base, and petty. No. Our creed is evidence to the contrary. <sighs> uh, perhaps I am not wise enough to understand, but I suspect the opposite. That I am too wise to believe such rubbish. Again, this doesn't make much sense, because unless he's a rogue Templar, he wouldn't be attacking Al Mualim. Wait, was that a bug? You offered him a, a bug about to what? I don't know. Dignity. Why? If it was the flash no of uh, the world without knowing some kind like of visuals thing. overall, but it was probably because my As capture card own. or HDMI cable or something is wigging out right now. To I don't know what. In so short a time, it that he hit him? No. <laughs> sadness as pride. Really, it's just Al Mualim being a badass. Had been tailored Maybe. To your feet. I did not know him well as a father. He was an assassin, above all. You too were born into this order. Do you regret it? It, it seems that they got Al Mualim's voice actor back. Known. That's nice. You may find a way in... Jesus Christ. Uh, Capture device. Come, my boy. And ready your blade. This battle is not yet won. Save all citizens. I didn't know how to do that. Especially when I tried to attack a Templar. I'm just like, no, I refuse to be attacked. I'm going to go attack the uh, other people. But that one seems simple enough to go back and redo for 100% if I oh so care to. But that was nice to revisit. Talk to your apprentice. No, I don't think I will. Ah, uh, so they contain recorded memories, these keys. Oh, these that <laughs> he experienced that, did he? But what is Altair wow, trying to literal tell Chad. Under? Indeed. What does he want the future to know or to learn? Yeah. So far again. Revelations is a very, very nice game. I like the experience. Once again, now that I'm kind of detached from the 100% synchronization bonus, I'm not as bad. Let's see. Da, 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 da. And good. I looked it up just on the offhand chance. 100% syncing of all the memories only unlocks cheats and outfits. I no longer care about 100% like the bonus synchronization because that was the main thing that I really hated about the synchronization bonuses in Brotherhood is that they were both obtuse and mean to do 
while also locking, like, story stuff behind them, which I hated. But since they're just cheats and outfits, I can play the game casually. Huzzah! But, yeah, Assassin's Creed Revelations, so far, is looking to be way up there in my Assassin's Creed rankings. I would definitely put it above Brotherhood in 2, but I'm not sure if I would put it above 1, just because 1 is a solid game. It's old and clunky, but it fits itself. It doesn't, like, try to be anything more than what it is. Assassin's Creed 1? I'm definitely gonna have to check out diddly D. Why? Maybe my HDMI cables. So test them out. <laughs> but yeah. It's definitely a... Because uh, uh, it's just... Assassin's Creed 1 is just a nice self-contained experience. The only real, like, criticisms is that it doesn't, like, do enough with what it has. With, like, the uh, missions before the assassinations. Actually, you know what? Because of how the notoriety is handled in this game, with, uh, oh, if you buy stinking shops, the Templar will try to take your dens. I think that system alone might put this below Assassin's Creed 1. Because Assassin's Creed 1 is, again, it's self-contained. It doesn't overextend. Some of this might overextend. But, yeah, still very, very nice. So far, far exceeding Brotherhood and outpacing Assassin's Creed 2, even. It's just a nice, lovely game so far. Yes. We've done a decent amount. We got a key. We went about, did missions for the Romani, the mercenaries. We went and met a bookstore lady who is apparently going to be pretty important to Ezio, I see. And really, I think we actually went and got all the dens unlocked. Wish there was a way to be like, can I look at my my assassins from here? What if I can set a diddly D down here? We seem to be like super zoomed in. But yeah, we did a lot today, which is very nice. And because of that, I do believe that that will be it for now, especially because my capture device and or HDMI cable is flipping out way more than it has before. Normally, it would only happen once or twice. It happened multiple times in the span of only a few minutes, so I'm going to have to look into that. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can follow me at my main YouTube channel, where I am working on a video that will hopefully be finished by the end of the year and hopefully set a flow that I can make simple videos of, like, edited content over a sim much faster and just, like, put my thoughts out there easier. Huzzah! As for the streaming, if you want to catch up on past streams, you can go to the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games where all previous games that I've streamed are uploaded, like Digimon Survive, Kirby and the Forgotten Lands, the Mass Effect Trilogy, just a lot of things. And then if you want to watch me play these games live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash neoniceywings, or catch me streaming on the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games. I try to stream about 5.30 to 6 Central Standard Time as a base. That seems like a good time. The days, I don't know. I don't really have a schedule. As for if you want to know ahead of time, my Twitch channel, I try to keep the schedule tab updated at least like 12 hours ahead of time. And then when I go live, you can follow me on Twitter at Neon Icy Wings for a tweet saying that I go live. As for other things like my art, like the little avatar in the corner, you can follow me on Twitter. Newgrounds or Tumblr, all of them at Neon Icy Wings except for the Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner, for more art from me. And aside from that, that should be it. So yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye, bye.